Hello, this is Jake, and today I'm unboxing this 1400th RMS Titanic from Airfix. Uh, this is the first Airfix kit I've bought since I bought the Lusitania, or was it the Mortain? Mortania. I think it was the Mortania. Uh, but I picked this one up yesterday from Antics. Um, I want to do an unboxing of it, and then of course this is going to be my new Titanic Wreck diorama. It's a very good scale as well, so it should be a pretty um, impressive one uh, once I've finished it. This was fifty nine ninety nine. I'll put a link to this model on the Antit store so you can buy yours. Very good price. Um, this comes with your paints, your brushes as well, which is very good. And it also comes with something I'm pretty um, impressed with, a, a small gold Titanic to go next to the model. Um, but there's several things with this model I want to point out on the way, so let's let's get into it. Right, here we go. So we have our Airfits manual. There you go. And basically shows you everything here. It also says gift set. Um, and that's that gold Titanic I was telling you about. Um, but yeah, the usual stuff, you know, how to put your kit together and everything. Um, it's going to be a little bit different for me because i got to choose what parts go on the, the ship because I'm turning it into the wreck. Um, but there you go, it gives you an idea. We have our nice big plaque to put the model on once you've finished building it, maybe display it. Um, our paints here. I don't know what the green is for. Is that green or black? But yeah, there's our paints. Um, here's the gold Titanic I was talking about. So I don't know how well that comes up on camera. But there's a gold Titanic in there to go on the plaque. Obviously it's not real gold. But it's, it's very nice that they've, they've done that. So that's different. Um, and you also have your decors, decors in there. Which is nice. Um, then we have our deck pieces, there's two lots there, there you go, and you can actually see how cool is this, they've actually moulded the grand staircase in to the um, plastic, which is, that's very nice, that's the first time I've seen that. Now of course in the wreck that's gone, so <laughs> unfortunately it's lovely detail but it might have to go. Um, we have chimney and ladder pieces here, benches which is nice so you can actually put the benches on the wreck, on the ship, sorry not the wreck, um, you have your chimney pieces here, more ladder pieces and then your fencing and everything for the ship, I'm thinking about changing this up to photo etched just to give it that little bit more detail. But they do look very good, i got to say. Um, you do have to be careful when cutting these out. From past experience, uh, they can break fairly easy. So be very careful with that when you're cutting them out. We have more deck pieces. So you've got your bow deck, the stern, the poop deck, um, and other bits like that. And then the other side we have uh, the promenade deck pieces. Uh, that's for the rear of the ship, the stern and the bow. But they all look very good, very nicely moulded. The last Airfix kit I, I um, built had a lot of flashing on where the moulds are not uh, pressed properly. Oh, you also get some poly cement. There you go, humble. Never used this, so that'd be. I'll use that. Try to use it anyway. Um, and then we have more of our ship pieces. So this is your white section across the top, the top deck basically. And our lifeboats down here. I did wonder about the lifeboats. Um, yeah, there they are, so that's good. And there's a lot of different pieces. You got your, um, you know, that's your bridge piece right there. That's for the um, glass roof. 
that goes on the grand staircase. That's for the um, lifeboats. You've got your steps, crane pieces. There's the crane arms here. Sorry about that. There you go. I don't know how well you can see them. But there's your crane arms there. And then we have another deck piece, which is that's the top of the deck because you've got your lifeboat parts here. Quite a thin plastic. You've got to be careful you don't break that. It's very thin now. So do be careful with that. And you can see the curve here. Off there will be for the front where the bridge is. You also get two kind of paint brushes. There you go. I think they're both the same actually, just you gave you two of them. And, and then of course we have the most important part. The hull. Which is a very nice touch because this hull has drilled out portholes. Which means you can put lights in it. Which I think that's a that you know that's a really really great idea so every portal all, all the way across this hull is completely drilled out and for modeler who wants to build this um well one i'm building the stern as a diorama sinking so all the lights coming through the portholes are going to be fantastic that's going to look really good and then of course if you built the model as you're supposed to not like me um you can have all the lights on. It's just going to look really good. It's a bit like the Academy kit I bought a while ago that comes with all the lights and everything, which I want to get building, to be honest. But no, there's the hull, and it's already painted across the bottom here, across the bulk and everything, but you still going to have to paint the uh, side prop parts here. They're going to have to be fitted and painted. But no, it's very nice to see that is painted. That's a great touch and yeah I'm really pleased these portals have been you know completely drilled out I'm sure both sides are the same now that's one of the things a lot of people were saying about the trumpeter 1 200 that because the way that these modes are made it's like a mirrored side so this side's got to be identical to that side which in real life Titanic was not like that um, but they probably are going to be the same but you know what that doesn't bother me. you only got to be displaying one side anyway. Uh, well, I would. So, there we go. That's our hull piece. Um, it does fit in the box pretty good with these cardboard pieces on the ends. That's for the bow. Then we've got the stern bit that fits on this end. And it slots in the box. Like so. It doesn't take up much room. And then, of course, the manual very flimsy depth piece, I've got to be careful with that. There we go. Put our paint brushes and glue back in. And paint. I'm very impressed with the grand staircase being moulded into that. That's, that's very nice. And there we have it. So that is the Airfits Titanic 1 400th model this was as of request and um, someone asked me a while back when I unboxed um, a Reval Titanic 1 700th would I be unboxing this one well there you go I've unboxed it and I'm really looking forward to um, making a start on this for my diorama um, obviously you got it leaving port here nice artwork the tugboats all in the background um, any industrial scene as well which is uh that's different and i like that um I, I must do more airfix kits because i don't you know this is only my second one i've bought i think third one i did buy a plane that i haven't built just yet um but no very nice kit a lot of parts in that um did it i i, I don't know if it had an age like with the reval kits they give you a certain age that um a certain level um, I would say this is more or less top end because there's a lot of parts in there, a lot of detail as well. Um, and one of the things I really don't like when building ships, I really struggle with, is doing all these ropes and getting that all perfect. Uh, that's one of the things I do struggle with. 
But anyway, there we go. So that is the Titanic 1400 RMS Titanic uh, Air Fits. I'm repeating myself now. Um, but thank you all for watching. Please give me a like. Please subscribe. And I'll have an update on this very soon. Bye for now.